Today we'll be building a object recognizer with hand gesture uh, activity. Why would you think we'd need something like this? Well, we're all believing that Apple will come up with an AR glass uh, that will be essentially our augmented view into the rest of the world. While other companies have come up with similar glasses like Huawei and uh, Vucic, we believe that Apple having market share uh, in a lot of fans will come up with a glass that works for everyone. The rumored glass is speculatively going to feature point cloud technology using the LiDAR. Location anchors will be part of the iPhone and the glass will have a LiDAR for point cloud technology observation. First thing we're going to do is open up an Xcode project and if you've done this before feel free to skip ahead uh, till we're done with this part. Simple enough we're going to start with an augmented reality app. I'm going to give it a decent name and I'm assuming you've done this before so I'm just going to move past this quickly and we're really going to focus on uh, ensuring that uh, the app is a reality kit app it's going to be a Swift uh, UI kit app as well, not a storyboard at this time. And we're not going to include test, we're going to click on next. Save it somewhere that makes sense for you. Now we've got the app going. You notice it created a couple files for us, an, an app delegate file as well as a content view file. In the app delegate file uh, it is pointing to the content view file which has been created for us as well. If you look here I'm just going to expand past the uh, uh, preview so you can see that uh, it's created a file with a reference to an experience. We're going to delete this experience but uh, if you'd like to learn how to use it I'll have a future video in which we'll talk about Reality Composer. Right now we're just going to delete it. Next thing we're going to do is get ourselves a uh, utilization or reference to the uh, AR scene uh, delegate. So how we're going to go about that is uh, first we're going to take a look at the uh, the tracking possibilities for ourselves and these are some debug uh, trackers that we can use to look at scene depth. And then we're going to include in our file the uh, ability to use physics, occlusion, collision uh, for our points in our file. Once we've done all that, our next step is to go off and actually uh, instantiate the, app to, uh, the AR view and uh, delegate. And how we're going to go about that is we're going to uh, make reference to the current session and using the current session uh, we're going to set up some components. See here uh, there is a world tracking config that we need to bring in uh, and first we need to get a reference to uh, AR kit to get that going and as soon as we're done with that we'll see that the uh, session can run here. Uh, important to, to note what I've done here is I've uh, included scene depth as far as part of some of my configuration and I'm I wanted to de detect planes so I need to have a uh, uh, plane detection in the horizontal and vertical indices. In order to ensure that this is working, I decided to buy a Vucic blade. Uh, and the Vucic blade uh, does have most of these components uh, that are available to us, hand tracking, uh, speaker, etc. I spent a little time trying to understand the Vucic blade and as well as my old uh, Android and Java uh, language. And I moved on from that quickly when I realized it would take too long. So back to what we're going to do here, which is to uh, find our hands and our fingers. And Apple has given us a new uh, hand pose estimation. Uh, so you need to bring in a 
VN detect human hand pose. And the result of that here, as you can see, is I, I have now my camera. Um, I have a couple of boxes that I put on the screen. And now I am using my thumb to reposition one of the boxes on the screen. What you're seeing is the, the distance from me to the box, which is why the box is a little bit off to the, the right. It's trying to imagine depth there. But you can see here that the thumb position is moving the box around. Exactly what I wanted to have happen. moving up and down, back and forth, uh, exactly what I, I want to have happen. The one thing that is missing here is the depth. So the next thing I'm going to have uh, work here and great my Motley Fool update has happened. Uh, next thing I'm going to have happen here is uh, some depth tracking uh, so that we can actually place. But in light of that, in lieu of that, and the next uh, the next iteration, what we'll do is uh, stick the resulting box or resulting object onto the a plane that's detected. So what you want to do then here is you want to uh, create a request um, and now uh, to get the resulting object in the distance and the way to do that is is to get the AR frame captured image as you can see I'm doing here and from there um, using that captured image uh, later on in their environment. So what I've done now here is I've decided to create a collision point between uh, the two boxes uh, and I'm going to have my first box be uh, my index finger, second box is going to be my uh, thumb and when the two points collide that is where I'm going to place a third box and that third box is going to be uh, where in space I want my object to be detected and have the reference put back. So in order to do that um, we create that request uh, to do some object detection as you can see here. Um, fairly simple. It took me a, a little bit of time to, to do this because I was uh, wrestling with which model to use. I tried several models. Uh, uh, the Inception model, the uh, mobile net, mobile net 2 model. And what I ended up with is the uh, the collision point having uh, a good output uh, roughly uh, about 70 percent, 80 percent accuracy um, as to what kind of object would be uh, uh, available. So you can see here when I, I tap my fingers together and I re-tap them together that I am now seeing a uh, monitor and a mouse and a table, etc. A notebook on my desk, my wife in the distance uh, uh, pedaling on the bike, and of course I am using the hand tracking because I don't want this uh, kind of tracking constantly. I, I want it in specific uh, instances. So there you have it. Uh, if you'd like to take a look at the code, I'll throw it up on Xcode once I clean it up. Sorry, on, on GitHub once I clean it up. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Look out for my next video where I'll be going over uh, scene understanding and uh, trying to figure out what exactly we see in the scene, asking questions about it, getting results back as well. Let's see where this goes. Look forward to the next one.